Karens. It is a very amazing title anyone can have within this world. What is a Karen? Picture this, you're sitting down, you're eating your salad, you're reading your book, you're watching your music. All of a sudden, a lady just comes up to you. What does she look like? She's middle-aged, most of the time she's white. Honestly, the, the race doesn't matter. All you need to know is that Karens are majority white and she has this very iconic pixie haircut. It's pretty much like my hair. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like my hair, but puffed up, kind of slicked back, and she goes up to you and says, I don't like what you're doing right now. Why are you still in this building? You're such an inconvenience. I hate where you come from. Go back to where you came from. Yeah. So yeah, that is what Karen, it's very microaggressive. They will pick on even the smallest things about you, whether it's how you breathe, how you walk, how you dress, the amount of hairs on your eyebrows. Um, chill. Anyway, so. Yeah, that's pretty much what a Karen is. And so my experiences with Karens, two times, two times. One when I was in year 10, and one that happened two or three weeks ago now. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the concept of a Karen. Like, mind your business. If it bothers you, that's fine. Just turn around the other way. Turn a blind eye. They could be on the street. They could be doing the shimmy. You can be annoyed about it, but you don't need to go up into their face and, like, say, I don't like how you're dancing. Go back to where you came from. Stop dancing. Your dancing is hurting my beautiful eyeballs. No. They're very annoying. That's it. Not sorry. So, what are my experiences with Karen's? Experience number one. So this happened when I was in year 10, when we were all doing online school, masks was still a thing. There was this video of a Karen who says wearing masks is illegal. She reaches up to her gooch and um, uses her, her pants to use as a mask. It was, it was disgusting. You could probably imagine how sweaty it was. But that's not the point. There were Karens everywhere. They were saying that you can't force them to wear masks. They're telling Asian people to go back to where they came from because they brought the coronavirus with them. I was a target of that. <laughs> not that being Filipino means that I'm bringing coronavirus, which I'm sorry, we don't eat bats. And neither should that be a stereotype or preconceived notion in any other nation, country, specifically Asian countries. Wow, this is called, <laughs> there's a lot of hatred in how I was thinking right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the story. So, this was after school. It was me, my mom, and my brother. We were all wearing masks, and this was like a five minute walk away from my home, because we were walking from school. We didn't really feel like going public transport, we were just walking. And it was a hot day in particular. Why was it a hot day? Because it was 20, 20 something degrees. I was wearing my blazer. You can probably imagine how hot that will get in 20 something degrees weather and you're wearing a mask. So I just had an idea. A very, very smart idea. An idea so amazing. You won't even imagine this. Ready, ready, ready? I took off my mask because I didn't want to be sweating. Oh my god, Melvin literally solved world dumbness. Melvin literally just solved E is equal to MC squared. Oh my god, he's a genius. That's it. I didn't even take it off all the way. I just dragged it down to the chin area <laughs> so I could breathe for a few minutes. Oh my god. So I take off my mask and just as we were one cross on the road away from my home, this Karen comes up. And she's with her two children, she's with her two dogs, she comes out of nowhere, she's walking them, and she sees me, she makes eye contact with me. They stop walking for a second, so it's pretty much, she's here, we're all the way here. She doesn't move anywhere, she doesn't move left, right, up and down, across the Y or X or Z axis. She just waits for us while we get closer to her. As we get closer, she then gets closer. And what's the first thing she says? Go back to where you came from, you bat eater. I laughed so hard. I, I didn't even have anything to come up with. Cause how much more simple can an insult get? Go back to where you came from, you bat eater. Wow, me and Karen, I thought you had at least like something else under your sleeve, but no, it turns out that you're very simple in your in your insults. So I just looked at her, gave her the side eye for a bit, 
and she says another thing. Your kind are the reason why people around the world are getting coronaviruses. So why don't you take your Chinese asses back to where you came from in China? And at that moment, we, we literally couldn't have anything. You know how, how embarrassing, how much pride do you need to have to say that? Especially in front of your kids. Like, there's this saying where whatever you do, your kids will follow. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Something along those lines. Those kids of yours are going to learn pretty quickly that saying that kind of stuff is going to be okay. Why is it going to be okay? Because you're saying it. So yeah, it was very annoying. That was the first encounter. And from then on, we kept seeing her pretty much every other day. She wasn't saying continuous insults like that. She, she just kept literally side-eyeing us every time we crossed her. Because that's the funny thing. We live on the same street. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoyed it. I guess I enjoyed Karen encounters purely because of the drama. I think that's why. I want to involve myself in the drama that Karen's had. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> Alright, encounter number two. Yes, this is a few weeks ago. Again, it's me, my mom, and my brother. This time we're at our local shopping center. And we just entered, we're about to park. And the thing with parking, especially in shopping center parking lots, they can get very hard when, uh, when there are too many cars parked to the point where there might not be enough space to, I don't know, maybe reverse and then park. So yeah, that is what happened when my mother tried to park. And it was two cars behind us. One was a, actually I won't specify the, the nationality or whatever. It was a guy and then it was a Karen. A Karen in her four wheel drive. Um, Corolla, whatever the really cool cars are these, these days. I don't really care or pay attention to the cool cars. And she honks her horn. Oh my God. <laughs> so with common sense, my mom is going to tell her off. But she didn't tell off the Karen first. She told off the car that was in front of the Karen, which was behind us. Me and my brother look, both looked at each other and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> he didn't honk the horn. And the guy behind us was equally confused. It's like, wait, I didn't even honk the horn. So he drove by, my mom realized very quickly, oh my god, wait, he didn't honk the horn. And then the Karen honks the horn again. So what happens then? My mom starts cursing at her, she wants to try and start drama. The Karen then rolls down her window, she, she just had, she wanted to make drama with my mom. And the thing with my mom is that she's very scary. I don't know about you guys, but my mom is very scary, especially when she's angry. There's also every other time when my mom gets angry where me and my brother like don't do something as we're told. But like, I don't know about you guys. I guess that's with everyone's parents. But my mom, she has the intention to beat someone. Um, there's, she lives by the idea, I put you into this world, I can take you out of this world. I'm fine with that. So, as the Karen rolls down her window, my mom begins cursing at her. And I also begin cursing at her because, why are you honking at my mom? What the hell is your problem? And the lady is like, go learn your driving skills somewhere else. No wonder all Asians are bad at driving. No. She drives by, I kept cursing at her, I flipped her off, I felt very good about myself. So, yeah, that's pretty much two encounters with Karens. I hope I encounter more Karens in the future, cause if you know anything about me, is that I might be bad at humor, and I might be bad at sometimes having clapbacks, but whenever, whenever possible, I might have clapbacks that might enrage, surprise some people, and yeah. So, with this mic now, what did we learn from today, people? Don't be shy. We learned. What did we learn? I like being in drama. I want to be part of the drama. That's, that's it. I just want to be part of the drama. Why do I want to be part of the drama? Because I want, I want the feeling of knowing that I can stand up to a carrot. Because honestly, Karens are such a nuisance in this world because aside from being the typical racist, the microaggressive, they will also be very homophobic. I haven't met any homophobic Karens yet. Yet. Yet, please. That's the key word. Yet. So yeah, that's it. So, still no catchphrase yet. Um, we like the new hoodie again. <laughs> I'm going to keep changing hoodies whenever possible. We love the new hoodie. We're standing. We stand the new hoodies. We stand a confident king in hoodies. So yeah. Still no catchphrase though. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Peace.